Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to start a new chapter on progression. To understand progression, we need to know what are sequences and series. So let's start with that. A sequence is nothing but a collection of same type of objects which have a certain order. In other words, when related events, people, things, numbers, etc., they follow each other in a particular order, we say they form a sequence. And how are the sequences written? As they are collection of objects, so the elements of the sequence when written are separated by commas. Let's look at some examples. We are familiar with counting numbers. Counting numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, they go up to infinity. First of all, they are collection of numbers and these numbers are arranged in an increasing order. So, they form a sequence. We don't write counting numbers as 2, 1, 5, 9. They are written as 1, 2, 3, 4. There is a certain order. They are in an increasing order. So, these counting numbers, they form a sequence. Let's say there is a class of 10 students and they write a test. The marks are given out of 10. If the teacher puts their marks in descending order, let's say the marks are 10, 9.5, 9, 8, 7.5, 7, 6.5, 6, 5, 6, 5, and 4. The highest marks being 10 and the least being 4. Now, all these are numbers, the marks. And how have they been arranged? In decreasing order. So, the marks form a sequence. You can have many more examples. For example, let's take students in a class are arranged according to their height in ascending order. The person with the least height is in the front and the tallest person is at the back. Then their heights will also form a sequence. Sequences are of two types. Whenever we have finite number of elements in the sequence, we say my sequence is finite. When there are infinite number of elements, we say it's an infinite sequence. So, let's go back to the example. In the first example, counting numbers, they form an infinite sequence. The reason being, you see that the counting numbers have infinite numbers. They go up to infinity. How about the second example? You had marks of 10 students. So, this is a finite number. So, marks of these 10 students, they form a finite sequence. So, depending on how many elements we have in the sequence, it is finite or it is infinite. Now, that was the first note. Come to the second note. Some sequences can be generated using a formula. Let's say we take sequence of even numbers. Even numbers can be generated using the formula a n is equal to 2 n. You take the value n is equal to 1, 2, 3. You give the values, you get the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8. Put n is equal to 1, you get 2. Put n is equal to 2, you get 4. So the sequence of even numbers can be generated using the formula a n is equal to 2 n. Now, how about sequence of odd numbers? That can also be generated using a formula. Let's see. So, for sequence of odd numbers, let's take a n is equal to 2 n plus 1. Now, when I take n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 
थ्री वी गेट ऑल दी ऑर्ड नंबर टेक एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी गेट वन टेक एन इज इक्वल टू वन वी गेट थ्री टेक एन इज इक्वल टू टू यू गेट फाइव सो ऑल दी ऑर्ड नंबर कैन बी जेनरेटेड यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला Now we can always take a n to be two n minus one also. Let's see if we take a n is equal to two n minus one. This formula, all we'll have to do is we will take our n value from One, one, two, three, and that will give us all the odd numbers. So you saw that for generating our even and odd numbers, we had a formula. This was the second. Type of formula, it will give us the same odd numbers. Take n is equal to one. We'll get one. Then we'll get three, five. Same odd numbers can be generated. Just because we had a minus one, we started our n from one instead of zero. Now there could be sequences where we don't have any formula that's why here we said some sequences can be generated using a formula how about prime numbers you know what are prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 and 13 all these are prime numbers but there is no formula to generate these prime numbers so prime numbers cannot be generated using a formula so not all the time the sequences can be generated now this is also a sequence you have numbers here and how are the numbers defined here here they are defined by a property so numbers are here defined by a property now come to the next topic series what do we understand by series when terms of a sequence are written together using a plus sign the same sequence is called a series now let's say that i'll take one example what if we take the counting numbers now the sequence of counting numbers is 1 2 3 they go on and if we have to write it as a series we'll write it as 1 plus 2 plus 3 Plus dash 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 dash. Now see, this is a series of counting numbers. Here it doesn't mean that you are adding each one of them. It's just a way of writing. So to a layman, you can say series is nothing but a sequence. So these series are also of two types. What are the two types? First is we can have a finite series and we can have an infinite series so what if we look at our counting numbers if you see the examples Our series of counting numbers is 
series of counting numbers is an infinite series. And if you take weight of 10 students in the class, weight of 10 students in a class, that will form a, that will be a finite series. So, depending on whether we have finite number of elements in a finite series, my sequence is finite. I'll write it like this. Sequence is finite. And for an infinite series, sequence is infinite. So, now, this was about your notation. Now, remember guys, we just use this plus sign for notation. Coming to, then, what does sum of a series mean? Let's see. Sum of a series. Now, we've already defined what a series is. When we add, when we add the terms of a series and find the sum which means you are finding the total sum. We call it the sum of the series. Now, let's see some examples. What if you are given I'm taking general notation for our series. Let's take the series a not a1, a2, going up to a n. Then, this is our sequence. Let me write it as a sequence first. Let us take the sequences. Now, series will be a not plus a1 plus a2 it will go up to a n. Now, this is my series. There's another way of writing this, the, the sum of this series, sum of the series will be nothing but when we add each term, a1 plus a2 going up to a n, we can also write it as summation a i i value from 0, this 0 to n. That's my i is taking all values from 0 to n. So you are given a sequence, this is a series, and this is the sum of the series. What if my terms are infinite? Let the sequence be, let the sequence be a0, a1, a2 and it goes up to infinity. 
then my this is the sequence series will be a not plus a1 plus a2 going adding up to infinity and the sum of the series will be sum of the series will be nothing but a i i value from 0 to infinity so this will be the sum of the series now we use the notation s capital s for notation what is that notation notation for sum that is s capital s so here you see we had taken sum of series up to s from a not to a n so here my sum will be s n we will write the sum of the series as s n here we will write it as s infinity if i'm taking sum of let's say five terms then we will take it as s5 let's look at another example find the sum of the example says find the sum of first 10 terms of counting numbers. Now, let's write our sequence first. What is our sequence? Sequence will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the series will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. And the sum of the series, it will be S10. Now, because we are finding the sum of the first 10 terms of the counting numbers, the sum will be written as S10. That is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Now, when we add all these, you will see the total will come out to be 55. So, this is our S10. Sum of my first 10 terms of the counting numbers. We'll do one more example. Let's take this example. Given a n is equal to 2 n plus 5, where n takes the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, it says write the sequence series and find the sum of the series. Here, you have been given a formula. Here, when I take n value as 0, for n is equal to 0, the formula a 0 is nothing but 5. When n is 1, put this 
in the formula a n is equal to 2 n plus 5 a 1 will be 7 when n is equal to 2 a 2 is equal to 9 when n is equal to 3 a 3 is equal to 11 and when n is equal to 4 put it in the formula 2n plus 5 a 4 is equal to 13 so what have we done we have put all these values of n n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in a formula 2n plus 5. And this gives me the sequence. This is a sequence 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. What is the series? Series is 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11, plus 13. What is S5, the sum? So, sum of series. S5, because we are finding the sum of all these terms. 5, plus 7, plus 9, plus 11, plus 13. Add them. In series, we do not add. But, for some of the series, we need to add it. You will see the total will come out to be 45. So here we were given a formula and using that formula, we generated the sequence, we wrote the series and we found the sum of the series. Thank you for watching. Next, we would be coming to the arithmetic progression. So our next topic is arithmetic progression. Thank you guys for watching. For detailed notes, exercises and solutions, you can check my website prof Preeti Bajpay dot com go to courses under that go to remedial my book on remedial mathematics is there you can find the class notes and exercises there